Hello and Happy New Year for those that are watching this video in this beginning of 2020. Here are the changes that made to the Wino interface for OpenEMR. If you watched the last couple of videos, we talked about the send button. So I'm going to go ahead and select and you see I have multiple prescriptions here. So we're going to send a couple of prescriptions over to Wino. And we've gone through all the other steps in order to enable Wino in the system. And we'll make another video for that. So if I go ahead and click transmit, you can see that now I have my two prescriptions ready for transmit and for review. If I need to change the pharmacy, I can do that here at this time. Take this out and we can start all greens and we put that in. Of course, this also updates the patient's chart as well with the new default pharmacy and also the next time I open up the prescription it will send it will of course prompt me with this particular pharmacy and of course I have the options to change it at that time also you can see that we have the confirm button that once I'm ready to transmit I need to click confirm and now that I've confirmed that I want to send this prescription the patient chart's been updated with this pharmacy and I'm ready to transmit. Now I'm going to drag this down a little bit because there's a couple of things that are going to happen and it's still not quite finished yet but we're getting there. So we're going to go ahead and click the transmit button and as you can see it's here. We're waiting, waiting, waiting. And we have the sign off, but here we have an error message. The schema does not validate. Schema does not validate. Okay, well that was embarrassing. Let's go sign find out what's wrong. <laughs> 